All right, what's going on guys? George with another video and right behind us, the beautiful wifey. We are out exploring Big Store today for our birthdays. Her birthday was yesterday? Tuesday. Tuesday. And my birthday's tomorrow, so we figured why not to come out here and explore a bit, do a little bit of wheeling. As you can see, we did find a pretty cool cant. <laughs> so we figured why not come out here and do a little bit of exploring at the same time, do some wheeling. As you can see, we found a pretty, pretty cool campsites we got very lucky huh <laughs> so we're gonna show you guys around we're gonna get the tent all set up and uh, just hang out make some food and have some good drinks and just have a good time all right guys so for those of you guys that haven't heard we did get a new little home uh, CVT blessed us with a brand new gray Mount Shasta, I did have a Mount Shasta before, but it was brown. Not only does this one match the truck better because it's gray, but it's a more updated version. And this one, I believe it's made in the USA. So, man, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Every time you go off-roading, you go camping, whether you're in California or anywhere else, you always have to carry some type of weapon with you. California laws are crazy, so I don't carry a pistol here, but when it comes to California, anybody tries to get crazy, I'll go a ramble slide on them. Hey, what do you think of the new tent? It's true. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Big shout out to Bobby at CVT for making this happen. Honestly, man, you have absolutely no idea how awesome this thing is and how I feel and I'm sure she she was in there like for 30 minutes trying to like figure it out and whatnot but it's nice huh? Yeah. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome to Big Sur, California. Yeah, it's our it's practically our first time here. The last time I was here, I was out with uh, the guys at Mount Hatch and Drew. We were passing by um, after taking supplies to the Paradise victims that were just suffering at the time when when the fire broke out. So after the trip, you know, uh, uh, Hisela was a little bothered, and I completely understand because since ever. When we barely started getting into this camping and stuff together, we always said, why, well, we always <laughs> said we wanted to come to Big Sur because we had both never been here. And then he goes to do something really awesome in Paradise, and then he texts me and is like, hey, I'm in Big Sur. And I was like, he yeah. forgot about me, but it's okay. He yeah, me back. honestly, guys, it, it was, um, I told Drew on the way down um, when, we, when we passed through Big Sur that I felt like, after experiencing like what we experienced out at out at paradise when we saw people you know that once had everything and now they were homeless like my heart was pretty broken like i was like man like i don't, I don't want to sound like emo about it but it was like i've never seen such a thing so i feel like passing through big store which is such a beautiful city uh kind of just like brought hope you know like hey in a couple of years everything will be back to normal type of deal so uh I was telling her how nice it was, and that we, you know, I took some pictures and I posted them, and she was uh, a little jolly. But what do you think so far? It's crazy, huh? It's super really nice. nice. Yeah, she was a little scared coming up here because it's like cliff, like it's like it's a two-way lane, and it's like mountain cliff. No, if if any <laughs> anybody who's been in the car with him, oh man, knows knows why I was scared. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh. Yeah, it can be a little scary. I mean, I drive a little crazy, but usually when I'm fully loaded the way I am today and when I have the wifey, it's not, you know, it's, it's just, if I'm going to kill myself doing something crazy, then it's going to be just me. I'm not going to bring no one else with me. So, uh... It's not going to be just you either. <laughs> it's going to be me and my new CVT tent! Oh, gosh. <laughs> How do you like this, by the way? It's really nice. Yeah? You're not expecting it to be this nice, huh? No, I was excited. I was opening the... What is this? the top oh yeah so this this is an updated version so it does have kind of like a like a window on top you can actually completely open it so if you're like near anywhere where it's completely elevated you have the stars you can definitely see all that but um yeah 
I was trying to get her to kind of give you guys a little tour of the setup, but our setup is pretty easy when we go camping and overlanding. I um, mean, you, know, you always have to bring propane at all times. You know, your basic tools. I've seen a lot of people carry some fancy utensils, but we're pretty, you know, we're pretty, uh, pretty simple, I guess. You know, for coffee, for soup, a couple of noodles, uh, boiling crab, uh, steaming vegetables, and then obviously your, your little pan, all my recovery gear. You can't forget the buddy heater and the small stove, some water, some coffee. And uh, what else? What else do we bring along? Every, we brought everything but food. Oh man. We did bring some huevo. We brought some huevo con chorizo, but the only problem is that if we eat that, we're not gonna have breakfast tomorrow. So we might I have- I think if you, wanna, if you wanna come to Big Sur, it's definitely not a place to come if you're not prepared. Yeah, and that's my fault. There's nothing. Once you like get closer, there's no markets, there's no restaurants. Yeah, there's mini markets, but it's like a mini market to me. It's like your typical liquor store. I mean, they have like very little stuff, like eggs and bacon and chorizo. That's why we were able to, you know, bring that stuff today. But we didn't find nothing else, huh? Pro there was Progresso soups, but man, I'll give you chorro. Can't, can't have that. Honestly, guys, hard-boiled eggs and salt. If you guys are fishermen, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Perfect combo for when you're outdoor. Bye, Isela. I don't think she's very happy. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Like a baby. Like a baby. It's a little cold that night, huh? A little bit, but the heater. Hey, that heater came in clutch. Huh. Where are we going to now? Who knows? Wherever the day takes us. Destination? Unknown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got to the first bridge and she's freaking out, so we're not even gonna go past it. We're probably gonna have to go back. I'm not freaking out. Down that way. Oh, you're, you're not freaking out? No. Oh, I thought she was freaking out. <laughs> All right, so we just made it to this bridge. No idea what it's called. Do you know what it's called? Mm -hmm. But what do you think so far? Crazy. It's beautiful, huh? Check out all these cows. Just chilling. They're not having it though. As soon as I got off the truck, they're all stood up. They're all stood up, looked at me like, what you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? It doesn't smell pretty though. <laughs> man, so what a way to celebrate my 30th birthday, huh? Hit the beach, did some camping, now some off roading, had some bomb coffee. Uh, yesterday, as you guys saw, we forgot to buy some food. I forgot to buy some food, so we had webbles all night. <laughs> and uh, it's, been a, it's been a blast. And now we're hitting some trails. What do you think so far? So nice. <laughs> so this trail is an easy trail. It's more of a fire lane. And uh, you do have some private properties to our left and to our right most of the time. But it's still, you know, it's still, you're still hitting some dirt. Not only that, but the views out here are amazing. It's crazy how it just a couple miles back, it's the coastline and now we're in the middle of nowhere. It's almost like kind of jungle looking, huh? Like, yeah, it's really nice. Like rainforest type of deal, especially right now that there's a lot of fog. This trail is called Little Sur. Not Little Sur, but Little Sur. And uh, if you guys are ever out here visiting Big Sur, checking out the coast and just having a blast, I would definitely recommend you guys check this little trail. 